not a lot of, of new music that is being added to the jazz genre anymore. We, we brought to the table our own compositions and saying, hey, we, there's some new music happening out here in jazz. This is music that's based in the jazz music that has preceded us, but it's not in, in any way an imitation of that jazz music, but it's based in good hard swinging and hard grooving music. And any time that, that I get an opportunity like this to present music of this caliber, I have to have the best. The band that he's brought together for this project, we have some just like world-class people, you know, people that have worked with everybody. We all come from the same core of, of jazz music. Like we all come from the same ideas of what we like in jazz music. We all like to swing, we all like to groove. So to have that type of that type of freedom and spontaneity doesn't exist with with just anybody, you know, it has to be a certain chemistry that's that's there. Um, the performances that we did at the Jazz Kitchen were incredibly helpful. Once you play music like this in front of an audience, it's like uh, 100 hours in the practice room. You know, jazz is the art of the moment. When you're able to play the music live and then go into the studio, we're going to have that same feeling. The music is alive. Everything in the world has a groove. Every song has a character. My brother has written two songs, one called The Bugger Bug, and you wrote another one called Don't Blink. The melody that's 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 written is is very difficult, and so you can't take your eyes off of the page, you know. If you blink, you might miss a note, you know. Rob Dixon has written a wonderful tune. The name of the tune is Gigi. I said, Rob, man, well, now what does Gigi mean? You know, who is Gigi? I thought it was a woman or something, you know. And he said, no, Gigi is, uh, stands for God's gift. He wrote it when his daughter was born. I wrote a tune called uh, Just a Touch. And it's at a at a slower a slower tempo about and, and nobody does those temples anymore. They call those temples the grown folks temples. Those temples are hard. Most time they rush it, but man, this rhythm section is just like just keeping it right there, you know. And so I guess maybe we're kind of grown. <laughs> my main purpose as a musician is to connect with my listener. If you look out in the audience and you don't see a person's foot tapping or the head bobbing, then you're not doing your job. It's just honest music. I think that's one of the reasons that Derek has these, this particular lineup in the band. It comes out in the music. It sounds a certain way. There's something for everyone on this CD something funky on it, you know. There's something uh, very, uh, like a very lush kind of love ballad, you know. For the diehard jazz fans, you know, there's this, you know, that Spang-a-Lang is there, you know. And we, and we swinging the whole time. <laughs> 